Well, for one Alaska village, if you don't get the Corona jab, you're not going to shop in person. And where does this all leading to? We're going to get into the details off the top, guys. As we mentioned, I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link down below. That is going to be our backup. This channel is being continually censored. We lost our monetization. Could lose the entire channel very soon as well. Because of that, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. You guys could do that a couple different ways. One through PayPal, the link down below. You could do a one-time or monthly donation. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. And that link will get you access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. Plus, we're including links to the YouTube videos on there because YouTube will not alert you when all the new content comes out. Like, you might not have got alerted on this video. Well, Patreon will do that. Plus, you'll be able to comment on the videos over there censorship-free as YouTube is blocking and hiding more and more of your comments. Unable for me to be able to respond to you. It's getting crazy. Patreon's the way to go, guys. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Let's talk about the village of Kanshiganek in Alaska. This is a village made up of less than 500 people. And you know what? There was a lot of talk going on at the beginning of this whole ordeal, you know, especially when they started rolling out the jab juice to everybody, saying that, you know, it'll probably be kind of hard for them to, you know, enact this type of real strict measures against smaller villages and communities. However, that's not the case. And when it comes to this village here, again, you know, around 500 people or less, the general secretary there has now put a mandate out. Now, they only have two you know, you know, grocery stores in the entire village. But if you want to be able to go shop in person, you have to have the jab. They are requiring it. It is mandated. Now, this is a village made up of mostly Native Americans. And the secretary said that over one third of their residents that live there had contracted Corona. So that led to more of these strict measures. And according to one of the store owners, the manager there, he has said this, that the way that he allows shoppers in, and by the way, even if you do get the jab, you still, when you're in the stores, have to wear your face diaper. You have to distance yourself. I mean, it's crazy. But here's what the one store manager had to say. He goes, in there, I'm in there every day. I have a list. And on the list is the names of every person in the village that is allowed to shop in my store. We check their jab card. We make sure we verify that with an ID. We make sure it's them. We make sure they got their jab. And if so, then they are able to go ahead and shop in the store. But only four people are allowed to shop in the store at the same time. I mean, these are for people who have gotten the jab, who have fully gotten the jab. Still, they're only allowing four people at a time to be able to shop in there. Now, he's all excited he, because he's like, oh, the list is, they bring me a new list every week and there's more and more names on there, which is great. That means more and more people are getting the message. It is great that we are forcing people to get the jab because they'll know that if they don't get it, well, they're not gonna be able to go out and buy groceries. So he thinks this is a great idea. No, this is a scary idea because we know where this is all leading to. If you open up your Bible, and you go to the book of Revelation in chapter 13. I can't really get into too much detail of it because unfortunately, I'll get this video censored even more than it already will be. But go read that chapter. You'll see exactly where this is headed to. It talks about these times and where we're at with prophecy. Now, for those people who don't get the jab there in the village, they'll be able to still get their groceries and, and things needed, but they're going to have to place phone orders and have it delivered to their house. But what this has done is it has created a second class of citizen now to where only those who have actually went out and got the jab are going to be able to go into stores and other businesses. While those that haven't will have to result to just getting their necessary items delivered to their home or other measures or having a friend or somebody else go for them, bring them their food or whatever it is that they need. Now, there was also a fitness center nearby in another village that recently reopened back on March the 1st, and very similar here to what's going on in Kanchiganak. They're only allowing those who have fully received the jab to be able to go into the fitness center, and of course, everybody there still got to wear a face diaper too. So, don't think that these small communities can't be affected, that they won't be able 
to put some sort of harsh restrictions in here. You know, it, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter if you're part of a conservative state or a liberal state. Uh, if the agenda is there and there's backing and there's support behind it, they're going to try to enact it. And again, it's a sign that we're living in the last days that Jesus Christ is coming back very, very soon. All this talk about passports and people, you know, not being able to enter businesses unless they have this. You know, they're not even using these so-called passports there in this village. They're just using their simple cards and their checking IDs and stuff like this. But they want to roll out passports in the U.S. and other countries. This is getting scary, guys. But as part of our ministry, what we're trying to do is provide you with the hope of Jesus Christ to give everybody an opportunity to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Now, you have to start by acknowledging that you are a sinner. We all are, but God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. You need to repent of that sin, and repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life, that is counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. The Bible says you won't even remember it anymore. And then you ask Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Guys, let me know what you think here about this Alaskan village implementing the mandatory corona jabs. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing to us. You can sign up on Patreon. Remember, you can comment there. Censorship free helps support me out. The Rumble link is there too. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.